Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In the last video, I showed you how to design this pricing table using Figma. Now in this video, we will start converting this to a real web page. So we'll be using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and we'll try to make it look exactly like this. So in this video, we will just create the project and we'll set everything up. We will add the font link. We will add the colors to our CSS variables and also export the images from Figma. And we'll set everything up for going ahead with our design. So let's get started. So here I've created this folder called pricing table and uh, in this we will create all the files. So let's right click over here and open with code. This is the code editor that I'm going to be using in this project. It is called Visual Studio Code. You can just search for Visual Studio Code on Google and you can download it for free. And some extensions that I'm using for this project are uh, one is called Live Server. So it can be used to display the result on the browser as soon as we save our project and the other extension that I'm using is called prettier so whenever you save your code it will uh, add the correct indentation to your code so these are basically the two extensions that I'm going to be using in VS code so let's go ahead and uh, start by creating our uh, necessary files so you can go ahead and click on this button called new file or you can just press ctrl shift P and you'll get these options over here and uh, I have new file over here so I'll just press enter and here I will just type index.html so this is the HTML file now we also need a file for the CSS so I'll just press ctrl shift p enter and style.css and one more file for the JavaScript so we'll just name it main.js and we'll also create a folder for all the images so I'll just click on this button called new folder and we'll just type images so all our files and folders have been created now let's go to index.html and uh, in VS Code we have the extension called Emmet already installed so you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this basic HTML5 boilerplate code so for the title I'll just type GT coding and uh, here we will link our style.css file so I'll just type link and press tab and in the href I'll just type style.css and we'll also add the link of the JavaScript file so here just before the body ends I'll just type script colon src and uh, press tab and here I will just type main.js so we have linked our JavaScript and CSS files now we will add the link of the font so let's go back to our Figma file and uh, let's see which is the font that is being used over here so let's click on this and uh, we can see the font that is being used is called Poppins and we need to get the bold and the regular versions so let's go back to our uh, browser and uh, here just go to fonts.google.com and just search for Poppins so here's the font that we need I'll just click on that and uh, we need the regular so this is the regular just click on select this style and uh, we also need the bold so this is the bold version let's click on select this style so here we can see poppins regular and bold have been selected and we can add this to our HTML so just go to link and copy this link from here and paste it in our HTML code so I'll just paste it just after the title All right so we have added the link of our font now let's go to our CSS and uh, let's create some variables for our colors now we'll create variables inside root so I'll just type colon root and in this we will add the CSS variables so let's go back to our Figma file and let's scroll up over here and uh, these are the colors that we need and the first color is the white color so we don't need to add it because we can directly type white in CSS and we'll add this color over here so let's copy this code from here now to create a variable you have to type hyphen hyphen and then the variable name now for this we'll just call it dark blue so I'll just type dark blue and uh, we'll type hash and the color that we just copied so we had the first color now the next color we will just name it green so I'll just copy this code from here and we'll type hyphen green 
and we'll just type hash and paste the color over here and then the color that we have is yellow so I'll just copy this and uh, hyphen hyphen yellow and then we have this light color over here so I'll just copy this I'll just type light color and we also have one more color which is this pink color so I'll just double click over here and copy this and uh, we'll just type pink over here right so we have added all the colors that we need for our design now the last thing that we'll do in this video is to export the images from Figma and add it to this folder right here images so with that we'll set up everything for getting started with the code so let's go back to Figma and uh, we need to export two files from here one is this check icon and then we also need this background so let's go ahead and double click over here so this is the icon now to export this image you can go to the design tab and scroll down and you'll find this uh, option called export just click on the plus icon right here and uh, then click on preview and here you can see a preview of what you're going to be exporting and then here we have the options of the file type now this is a shape so it can be created using SVG so I'll just select SVG now SVG is a great format for images like these where you have icons or basic shapes because even if you increase the size of this uh, SVG image it won't lose any quality so let's click on export so here I'm in the project let's go to images and uh, here I'll just name the file as check icon and we'll click on save so the check icon has been saved now the next thing that we need to export is this uh, shape right here so I'll just click on that and uh, let's do the same thing let's go over here to export and uh, here is the preview and uh, for this icon we have 5% opacity and for the other icon we have 15% opacity so we'll create two files for that so we'll just select SVG and uh, export I'll just type BG shape 1 and we'll just select the other one and uh, let's click on export so let's go ahead and select SVG and we'll click on export and we'll type BG shape 2 let's go back to our VS code so here in images we can see these three SVG files so everything is ready for starting with our code so that's it for this video in the next video we will start writing the HTML for our design so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day